Good afternoon, folks. How is everyone? Hope you're doing well. My people, you know I love you. I want you happy, healthy, and safe. You know what I want for me? Like, share, remind, subscribe, leave a comment. That's all. Welcome to another Cider Sunday. Today we are going to take a look at Schilling Hard Cider, Juicy and Unfiltered, Passport Pineapple Passion Fruit. Okay. <clears throat> Remember, all this started because the boy, well, I've drank ciders before. So we're going to 12 fluid ounces, 6.7 is the ABV. There was nothing online for this. Well, there's other people's opinions online, but if you want their opinions, you go to their webpage. If you want mine, you come here. Uh, ingredients, hard cider made with fresh pressed apple juice, pineapple juice, passion fruit juice. It does contain sulfites. More booze equals more calories. Rest easy knowing about 130 calories in passport come purely from the 6.7 ABV. Cheers. Government warning bullshit. Produced and canned by Schilling Cider LLC, Auburn, Washington. Tax class? What the hell is a tax class? Oh, so it has a dry to sweet meter. Let's see what this shit says. It is vegan, by the way, because, you know, there was no bacon harmed in the making of fermented fruit juice. Just throwing that out there. So, on the dry to sweet, which is a zero to five, it gets a bricks of four. So, obviously, bricks is the sweetness scale. From smooth to sharp, on the 0 to 10, it gets a TA of 8.5. And on the still to sparkling, it gets a CO2 count of 1.9. Well, we, we learned something today. We learned that Bricks is the sweet dry scale anyway. Attention all passport holders, Captain Toucan speaking, please take a seat and buckle up. You are about to embark on a juicy trip. The journey into unfiltered territory is ripe with lush pineapples and passion fruit. The forecast calls for clear skies and hazy cider on your trip to paradise. So sit back and relax and leave your worries behind. We know you have a choice of airlines when you fly, so we thank you for flying with Captain Toucan and the Schilling Cider crew. No matter where your travels may take you, Schilling Cider is always in season. For an in-flight cocktail, add a shot of rum to your passport to get stamped. I didn't know you could add rum to this stuff. Check out a Shelling Cider House near you, and then it's got Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Made in the PNW, which is the Pacific Northwest, canned by Crown Cork and Seal. If that still exists, but that was their logo. That's everything they gave us at four minutes in. So, let's put some eyeballs on it, see what's going on. How about that? I was going to say she's fridge cold, but she's been out here for four minutes now. Remember, it's getting a little warm out here in Arizona. We are at mid-April. Temperatures are starting to climb. It was up around 100 today. Even though it's breezy, thank the Lord I am not getting a, uh, an attack of, uh, shall we say, a bouquet of botanical bukkake. Yes, all the flowers are done getting busy busy and uh, rolled over and gone to sleep now. Anyway, nice color, orange juice. Of course, there's not going to retain much of a head. Looks like she's got some good effervescence going on. There are definitely floaties in here. Yeah, no music today. I was too lazy. We're drinking her at right around 49. 
It should be cold enough to cider. Let's slip it a tongue, see what's going on. That's not bad. It's kind of interesting. Comes in sweet. Flavor shifts a little into other sweet. So I'm guessing pineapple into passion fruit, or maybe passion fruit into pineapple. Um, burns out pretty fast, so you're looking at medium fast to fast here. Millie wouldn't like this. We're not going to do ciders with Millie anymore. Apparently, the uh, it must be the acidity in them. Gives her TMJ pain, temporal mandibular joint pain. So we'll figure out something else to do with Millie. I know you guys miss her and want her back. She will be back. She's uh, capricious, though. So sort of like nailing Jello to a tree. Um, okay, so that wasn't bad. Squizzy. Comes in, good mouth feel, roof of the mouth, intradentals, front third of the tongue, goes to the back of the throat. I have a dove who wants to build a nest on top of one of my outdoor speakers, which is not allowed, dove. No, and it won't bird shit all over my friggin' patio. So, looking at me, and the dogs are trying to eat it, so it's entertaining anyway. Um, yeah, she's nice, she's fruity. She's dirty, so when she finishes off, you're still getting all that fruit there. This is an easy drink of cider. I mean, we've had some ciders that were absolutely horrific, just horrible, but this one isn't bad. Now, aren't passion fruit like purple? I mean, it's supposed to be like a purple color? I don't know. Just say it. Uh, it's in here, because this thing is fruity as all hell, but, uh, would have thought it'd be a tad more purple, but it is dark, and we know the pineapple is light yellow, so. And then, roof of the mouth. I'm gonna say passion up front with a pineapple finish. Daisy, I like this. So, um, would I drink this again? Sure. Would I buy this again? Maybe. Um, <clears throat> dog, stop. Would I uh, try this on tap? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I'd, and I'd get a full pour. It wouldn't even be a short, because this is an easy drinker. Uh, if you handed this to me at the cooler, I would say thank you very much. I, I might even come back for a second, depending. Twenty-four, twenty-six, maybe. Not that we SRM ciders, but I think four of those is going to get you awfully. Maybe five of those will get you awfully close to black. Um, Nova Bond hundreds go. I was going somewhere with that before I decided to, you know, just schizophrenically split off in the wrong direction. What the hell was I thinking? Uh, Was he? It's well made for the style that puts you in the four. Get out of there, you stupid dove. Um, well made for the style puts you in the four. Tasty bumps you up, so four and a half. And then after four and a half, when you start to get interesting and you have a, a nice twist or kink involved, four, seven, five. Uh, if it was absolutely perfect and blew my socks off, and without a doubt I would drink this whenever I wanted a drink, it would be a five. But that's a four seven five. Nice, not overly sweet. It's not diabetes in a can. It's sweet enough to be tasty. Yeah, I'm okay with four seven five. You know the dog's going to eat you, you stupid bird, and you are not making a net. Hey, get out of it!
Get out of there. God damn. No! Look, I don't have a problem with doves. I just don't want them shitting all over my patio. And the dove don't care. Just looking at me. Better or I'm going to build and miss you. No, you're not, fucker. Uh, so, that's what I got for you folks. Thanks for coming by and putting some eyeballs on here. I will catch you on the next one. Don't know what it'll be. I'm going to have to go cider shopping because I'm just about out. She has warmed up more. She's still tasty. I would drink this cold, though, by the way. I mean, this is definitely like uh, 44 to 48, you know, the approved scale. The fly is driving me crazy. Um, 44 to 48 approved scale. 44 would be amazing on this. This would be a nice summer cooler. I'm going to can. You can stick it in one of those... Um, Hugmates, brewmates, brewmates. And stick it in the brewmate, stay cold. Still drink it. All right. Love you folks. Victory, happy, healthy, safe, honorable, dutiful, vigilant. Head on a swivel. Be the gray man. And we'll catch you on the next one right after. Get out of there, you stupid bird. Whatever. All right. Um, yeah, that, that's all I got for you, so. Scroll, my friends. Bye, Oconios.